I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, so here we are back with this HP Pro Book laptop again. So this is uh, the, the the laptop I just did a video on, covering how much I liked the design of the laptop. But let's say that UFI that's on this thing, it's garbage. It's just garbage. So we got this Asus lap this Asus laptop here for service. I just installed Windows 10 on it using this USB stick. This laptop. They had no problem picking up the, uh, of course, the UEFI boot option, because I mean this, it is set up to boot, either as an MBR setup or a UEFI setup. Either way, this thing here, um, by default, when you go to select um, your boot options, when this thing is set up to um, hybrid boot, more or less UEFI, but with CSM backwards compatibility. Um, for MBR uh, drives or whatever you want to call it, um, it would boot this uh, USB stick in MBR mode and try to install Windows 10 as MBR. Normally, you could just go in and set up and, or you just you could just go in and and manually select the correct option, the UEFI option for booting off this flash drive. But no, HP had to make it. A much more complicated process. So let me go ahead and show you here how this how this works. It's just mind blowing, really, to be honest. So you gotta start it up. You you can see no bootable image found. Now select F9, and of course this this thing goes really really quick through the. Uh, um, post. Come on. <laughs> there we are. So, um, since right now I have it set up for UEFI only, you can see it's, uh, yeah. You have to select the boot from EFI file option. Here we are, Windows 10, ACPI. I believe it's going to be boot manager.efi. What? What in the world? This is just weird. Yeah, I didn't actually. Like I said, I'm kind of just figuring this out my, on my own here. I'm getting ready to. Uh, It might be this one. Let's see. I think that might be it. There it is. So we think. <laughs> it's like, why in the world does HP now? Somebody in enterprise mark in the enterprise sector. Maybe they understand why this is set up this way. But I mean, I, this first time I encountered a system that. Made the process of UEFI, UEFI booting off of a, let's say, a Windows 10 installer stick complicated. Why does it got to be complicated? So we'll let this load up here, and we'll see um, if we'll, we'll see if in fact it did uh, boot up correctly. Okay, let's see here. So next, install now. See if it picks up the product key. See if it does, just like the Asus laptop over here did. No, this one picked up the key. 
custom it's like new and apply let's see how it partitions it okay so it did indeed uh, set it up as a EFI <laughs> I'm, I'm like why why is it gotta be so complicated why can't they just why can't it be like you just you select the uh, the EFI boot option for the SanDisk Cruiser USB flash drive. No, no, you gotta manually go and locate the uh, the freaking image, the EFI image, whatever. It's just yeah. <laughs> like I say, nice hardware, garbage UEFI or garbage bias, however you wanna call it. It's just it's just horrible. I've never. This is it's probably. This is single-handedly probably the worst UEFI SEP utility I have ever come across. <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, we'll let this thing run through uh, setup, and it should, of course, work normal from at least this point. But yeah, ain't that crazy? Okay, let's see if it boots up right on its own. That looks like a yes. <laughs> so I'm going to let this thing finish up through setup, but yeah, ain't that crazy guys? Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you'll get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support, and thanks for watching this video.